Hi integers, Tin John 06 here. I am not stranger to visual novels. In fact, I played a bunch of them. For example, here I played Beyond You by Hexvex on a Linux virtual machine. Here's Love Escar by Yang Yang Mobile. This is a paid Steam game and it has many gameplay elements. Here's Moe Era from Comfy Company and Doki Doki Literature Club from Team Salvato. Then I came across with this. This is Student Union by Visual Novel Village. And yeah, this is an interesting visual novel indeed. Look at those images. We have this, and that, and this, and that, and hmm, interesting indeed. So I already downloaded it and extracted it. So let's take a look at the technical details of this game. This is the game's folder. As you can see that this game is running on RenPy Visual Novel Engine. So what is RenPy? RenPy is a visual novel engine, it is based on Pygame and it is written in Python programming language. A programming language that I am studying right now at school. Yes. So I, here I attempted to open the studentunion.py to see if there is some sort of source code in here. But I digress. There is no source code in here. I mean, it didn't open after all. Maybe I'll open it on idle? Question mark? Luckily, RenPy compiles all the Python codes inside of the game, including audio, scripts, and whatnot. If RenPy didn't compile this, after all, well, all RenPy games and even this game will suffer in a slow execution because it interprets one by one because it's not compiled. So at this point, I executed the game and this pops up. The Microsoft Defender smart screen window. But yeah, it's okay. It's safe after all. So there's now a log text there. And yeah, this is the warning. This game is for mature audiences only and player discretion is advice. And also, did I mention that the main menu music is so great? And also this intro is so daunting and too dramatic. Just listen to it. Uh, don't worry too much. It will get light afterwards. So let's talk about the graphics of this game. After all, this is a 2D game and the scenarios are well drawn, especially the CGs or the characters are well drawn. And also did I mention here that the eyes of the CG or the character is blinking? Whoa! I, wow! I mean, I, I didn't expect that for a visual, no uh, I mean, a 2D visual novel after all, but yeah, it blinks. Let's get an instant replay of that. See? There. It's blinking. It's not only just blink, it's 60 FPS blink. And also, the protagonist, Lane, is also well drawn and well designed as well. As you can see earlier, I zoom to Mr. Underwood's face and Lane's face, but I cannot detect any blur or JPEG artifacts or alias materials because it's a 2D after all. And yeah, look at her and him. Wow. I mean, it's good. Ivan is really well drawn as well. Nat is also well drawn as well. I think all the assets here in, you know, um, Student Union is high resolution. And thank you, Visual Novel Village, for, you know, thinking about high resolution drawings. Thank you so much. I, we really appreciate that. Graphics is good. How about the audio? Is the audio good? Well, the audio is great. It's really, really nice. So, 
there's no surround sound in this game because there's no need for surround sound because this is a 2D game after all. Maybe binaural sounds if there is voice lines? Question mark? Well, <laughs> speaking of that, there are no voice lines in this game. And that is okay. Optional features are good at all, but there's no necessity to that. So it's okay if this game has no voice lines in the final version. And also, did I mention that the music is in this game is really, really good? Like, it uplifts your mood. Take a listen. For whoever who composes this, let's make a collaboration. Just kidding. I have no comments on the story yet, but I think this will be an interesting because um, I'm still at the early point of the game. I found one bug in this game. And what is that exactly? Well, if you quit the game, like this for example, there is a cafeteria sound effect here, and if you quit, then the main menu music plays and still the cafeteria sound effect is still there. So take a listen. I think of the first reason is programming logic error. But Sometimes I think that using Windows 11 Insider Preview can cause also issues to that game. I don't know. So if you saw this video Visual Novel Village, let me know in the comments what causes that. Is it a programming logic error or maybe a pre-release software that causing some issues to your game? Hmm. Overall, Student Union is nice. It looks pretty promising so far. I am rooting for the final version of this game. By the way, this game is also available on Linux, Mac OS, and Android. I'm playing it on Windows right now, specifically Windows 11 Insider Preview. So I think I could say that this game is compatible with Windows 11. Well, in Insider Preview, so it might change later on. And again, this is a pretty promising game. So you could download it on their itch.io page. I will link it down to the description. And it's me, it's Tinjan06, Esther, Kukumi Venti. Ciao!